What's up YouTube? I'm here for a quick little review for you guys today. Today I am reviewing the Marvel Legends Punisher. The one that comes from the Daredevil Netflix series who will also have his own Netflix series coming out soon. But I just got this figure the other day and I wanted to review it for you guys. So without further ado, I'm going to bust this box open, take him out, and show you what he's like. So here is the figure in all his glory. Like off top I could tell. Like I said, my camera is not the best quality camera, but the face sculpt of him looks amazing. Everything about this figure I feel like is really dope. Um, like I said, the camera will not do it justice, but please believe this figure is definitely worth getting. So, his arms move right here, of course. He has an upper bicep swivel. I believe that's what you would call that. Of course, on both arms. The jacket can actually... Sorry about that. The jacket can actually come off if you wanted it to. And of course, underneath the jacket, let's get a better view of that. The Punisher sign. Looks really, really dope. But the jacket could come off if you wanted to. I, however, feel the figure looks way better with the jacket. Now, he has the torso like kind of moves as you can see at the top a lot more than some other marvel legends figures now that i really like because i, I think it'll be really good for the, the toy photography that i want to do with him you know kind of have him like linked to the side like twisted around shooting shots while he's running away from someone or shooting someone that's behind him you know for my toy photography i think that's really dope he has an upper thigh swivel Now his feet do move as you can see right there. They do twist around. But at the top of the boot where his ankles would be, it doesn't move. So that's just something I wanted to let some people know. Not that I really care. Now I notice he bends back pretty far. But I guess he doesn't crouch over as much. As a lot of other Marvel Legends I have. Now. He comes with plenty of. Ex well I can't say plenty of accessories. But he comes with two weapons. I'll show you them right quick. Of course as you would expect from Punisher. He's definitely packing some heat. That's the biggest gun he comes with right there. Now of course it's just solid black. Of course everyone would like. To have multicolored guns, more details to the weapons, but I guess that's something customizer, customizers can do for you. Or you could customize it yourself, because I just don't think Hasbro has the budget to do that with most of their Marvel Legends. But there he is right there at the heavy artillery, looking very badass. I'm telling you guys, this is one of the dopest Marvel Legends waves that we've gotten in a while. Just in my opinion. It comes with a lot of lesser known characters. Or, you know, just not mainstream characters, I guess. You get the Punisher, you get Daredevil, you get Jessica Jones, Marvel's Blade, Elektra, and a dope-ass bullseye that I haven't gotten my hands on yet. But this figure right here, definitely worth my money. You get your bang for your buck. As you can see, he has a grenade launcher on his strap. Now, I know we will probably never get to see Punisher shoot like this because he's a tactical shooter. And this just doesn't provide that good of aim. But I think it looks cool for a figure. It's definitely dope. And this is the pistol he comes with. It is just a solid silver little pistol. Like I said, not much details on it. I don't believe that Hasbro has the budget with these Marvel Legends to do a lot of the things that they would like to do. But for $20, it's definitely worth it. Like I said, this is one of the dopest figs out yet. I honestly like him more than the Punisher that came out exclusive to Walgreens, even though that Punisher came with hella weapons and stuff. And of course, it was a classic Punisher that we all know and love. I just really, really, I'm really digging this figure. I'm really digging his portrayal of the Punisher. I think it may be the best on-screen Punisher that we've gotten yet. No offense to Thomas Jane. I really love the first Punisher movie. Punisher Warzone, not so much. But this figure, definitely dope. This is just a quick little review for you guys so you can see what's up. And if you find this guy, you better pick him up because you will regret it if you don't. 
I feel like he would be highly sought after later on in life. And like I said, just a very, very dope figure overall. The details on him are really dope. Now, this line is more of a darker line, so you don't have a lot of eccentric colors. Most people are wearing black and stuff in this because it's the Marvel Knights, Marvel Netflix, you know, wave. And that's just a darker tone to these things. Of course, it comes with pieces of the Build-A-Figure for Man-Thing. I'm not sure if I will even complete Man-Thing just simply because, I don't know, I'm not really that excited for man thing not a character that i really got into in life i already picked up punisher and i've picked up blade i haven't gotten the rest of the series yet probably won't get a lecture probably won't get jessica jones just don't really care about those characters that much no offense to anyone who does they're great characters for other people i'm sure and i hope you guys enjoy those figures i'm sure they're dope but i definitely need to get daredevil and bullseye now bullseye being the main figure i want out the wave but this was just a quick little review for you to see the punisher in all his glory i hope you guys liked it i hope you guys are able to find this figure if that's what you're hoping to do i hope you guys are able to find him and i hope you guys enjoy him because he is definitely worth the money that you would shell out to get him like I've already told you about his articulation points, he's not the most articulate Marvel Legends that we've seen, but for a character like this, how much articulation do you need to have him holding guns and blasting people's brains out? I can't wait to take some dope shots of him beating up Spider-Man and shit like that. There's a better look at the face sculpt right there. But like I said, definitely a dope-ass figure. You should definitely pick him up. I hope you enjoyed this quick little review. The reviews will get better. Just working on some things. Got to get a better camera to really show the detail off on these figures. But hit that like button. Be sure to subscribe. Be sure to check out my other toy hunts. I actually have a toy hunting video live right now of when I actually find this guy, Think Geek. So with that being said, you have a great day, YouTube. And stay tuned for more.